Hello, I just got back from half price and all that. Um, yeah, I went up there to just take a look and um, see what was on the clearance and I ended up finding this CD. This is a uh, harp by Pendant, I think, from 2022, released by Saddle Creek Records. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Looks like it's got twelve tracks on it. It had this nub on the inside. Um, I don't know if that was there when the CD was manufactured or if it was something that Half Price Books put on. Because I've seen a bunch of these before um, on albums that are there. And also there's other ones where um, there's like a sleeve, a plastic sleeve put up on the inside. And those look like, like, I don't know if the person who like traded them in, um, if that was the person that put them on or if it was half price books. But anyway, um, it comes in a digi sleeve sort of thing disc itself is basic black with text around it and a design that I'm not sure which way is up, but it looks cool. The um, price tag said as is, and there's there's a couple little scratches on it, but um, it doesn't look particularly terrible. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in this uh, sleeve kind of protect it a little bit from things. I reckon the way this originally came was the um, disc was probably in here and then the poster was probably just packed in like that. Um, kind of like how uh, We Are Chaos by Marilyn Manson was packed. And this catalog, this... Uh, I think it says 2020 2020 spring catalog yeah yeah I paid three bucks plus 31 cents tax so pretty cheap uh, here's some other available um, Releases, Land of Talk by Indistinct Conversations, or Indistinct Conversations by... Uh, yeah, Indistinct Conversations by Land of Talk, Collector by Disc. Adam Clayton Holland performs his signature bits. Likewise by Francis Quinlan. <laughs> Black Pelt <laughs> at the party with my brown friends. We say in private by Ada Leah. By Steph Tura. Placeholder by Hand Habits. I don't know if that, that means like the place like literally a placeholder title or Selections from the back catalog. I like when CDs come with little like catalog things so you can like look at what like they have available and whatnot. Or you can look it up, look up like what is there on places like Spotify or whatever. So yeah, there's this poster. It's got uh, lyrics, it looks like.
And there's a photo there. Looks like a Polaroid. So yeah, the um, the actual price uh, thing said that um, it said E L E C, which like means electronic. So I reckon this is. I mean, Saddle Creek is kind of an indie, kind of alternative rock kind of focused label, I think. But um, I guess they have some electronic stuff too. Maybe we'll have to see. Um, so yeah, I put the disc, I reckon, yeah, the way this came is like, the CD is what needs the most protection because of how it can get scratched and whatnot. So yeah, I reckon that goes in there and then these were just put in here. So this... Pop it in a sandwich bag to protect it. So cool, I'll listen to that later today. And aside from that, we've got the Candy Man uh, Rip It that I got earlier. I had my Haribo gummy bears on the way home and the other uh, the Sprite that I got. So yeah, Candy Man. This is supposed to be cotton candy flavor. Got a very light purple color, looks like it. It's hard to see from the top, but yeah, you can kind of see that the purple, so let's see what it tastes like. Mm. Yeah, I kind of get the, um, I kind of get that it's supposed to be cotton candy, but it's got a really bitter hit to it that not that great. 
then then again maybe maybe not all the um sugar from the previous stuff i had today has um gotten off the tongue but there's a really like kind of weird aftertaste coming on it It's not terrible, but it's not the greatest thing. Um, there are other drinks that have done the um, cotton candy flavor like way better than this. I don't think that's one I'll be getting again. Then again, I mean, it's not terrible, but then again, it's just not really preferred. And Rip It do... Um, way better like flavors i think how much caffeine is in this like some of these it's difficult to really tell what um how much caffeine is is in it Yeah, the ingredients say caffeine. It's near the bottom of the um, list, so it's 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 not as much caffeine as like the rest of the ingredients, I guess. But um, it doesn't really say. It doesn't really say how much caffeine's in it. Hmm. Yeah, I'll I'll finish this, but it's it's not it's not going to be I can I can I can't say it's one of my favorites. Um or even close to um So, yeah, that's about it for the moment. Um trying to figure out what I want to do for dinner. I was thinking about going to 7-Eleven getting a pizza. I haven't had a pizza in a little bit, so I might do that. Um, I really, I really would like to get a pizza. So, yeah, um, that's about it for now. It's uh, going on thirteen minutes. So I will uh, see y'all later.